All right, guys, this is a TSI 321 synthetic lubricant oil. This is meant for bearings, uh, for fishing reels. Um, they, they're sold in very small containers like this because they can be costly. Now, just remember, these were made for the NASA program because um, they needed a substitute for oil, right? They needed some a form of lubricant that, that could um, change their dependence on oil. So this is what they developed. NASA needed a lubricant that could withstand minus 100 to plus 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, they were able to get this with this type of lubricant, okay? And this type of lubricant here is a, uh, what do you call it? It's a rust inhibitor, as well as an um, oxid oxidation preventative. So it basically, it's not gonna corrode or rust whenever metal comes in contact or coated with this. As an anti-corrosive lubricant, it can work with most plastics and metals. I think it does work with most metals. There's a few types of plastics that it won't work with, but like I said, that's for the uh, NASA program. But for us fishing guys, it's great. Now when you use this, it increases the, the bearing life. And, and the main reason why I use this is because I can cast farther with this. Now, you know, back in the days in the 70s when I grew up, you know, we got our pen reels and we got the pen lube in it. And afterwards, you know, we started going up from there and some of the better quality loops came up. Say, for example, I think uh, Bantam, which is made by Shimano, that's a good lubricant. Now, what I choose, how, now how I choose my lubricants now is based on the viscosity because if you get the lighter viscosities, um, it's actually gonna last longer than the heavy viscosities. Plus the heavy viscosities are, are gonna have some problems, which is um, uh, revolutions, RPMs. If it's heavy, you're not gonna get the RPMs on your bearings. Now, if you go lighter, you will. So that's one of the main reasons I went with the light one and I went with this one. And one of the reasons why it won't rust it's a non-electrolytic, so it will not rust, or it, it won't inhibit rust. Oh my God, it's starting to pour, so hopefully I can do this just another minute longer. Okay, I used to like the, the Bantam, the uh, Shimano one, and that's viscosity is roughly around 60. The viscosity of this one here, the, uh, the 321, this is around 20. So with the lower viscosity, it means is that it's going to, when you put on your bearings, it's going to spin faster because less resistance when you have friction. That is basically the main reason. Now all type of lubricants are basically the same. When it comes to lubing my internal parts, I use Okuma, I use um, Shimano, I use whatever I have, whatever's going to work. But when it comes down to bearings, I, this is what I use. I use this product because when you put this on, it's like when um, Okuma came out with the Lijos reel, all right? Now, that's a level wine. Now, they could have put on thrust bearings um, that will that should make the reel cast farther during your casting, but they used this instead, the TSI. Now, when you use the TSI, it gave the same performance. You can still cast far, so they didn't need the thrust bearings with that particular reel, and that helped keep the cost down. Oh, getting wet, I gotta go in. Just remember, this works great in hot or cold environments. Really does, and oh boy, and it does work. That's why I use it. Thanks.